Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, I'm gonna be heading to where Kand is because he says he found, found something interesting in the cellar over here where we just were. I, I I can actually see when you steal things in the in the little uh, in the little chat thing here. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I love how it identifies what I'm stealing. It's like <laughs> Kand stole one poison arrow from Esmeralda. Okay, technically, if I go into there, it's gonna be. So where's the stairs to her place? Do you want me to just pop up on the map? One sec, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just disconnect my guy from the party. Uh, sneaking failed. One sec. Go around! No, no, no. I can, I can, I can do, uh, I can distract with one of my <laughs> other guys. <laughs> Operation Alpha Tango. You have none of that. Yeah, oh, yeah. whoops. There was some... There, oh, well, uh, there's a guy right here. Whoops. I don't tell me took the key. I think I did. One sec. Let me get him. Let me get him looking the other direction. So basically, the the characters get pissed off. Whoops. Oh, why is the sneaking fail all of a sudden? Weird. All right. Hello. Hello. I am dog. All right. So we, we left our followers behind. And the, and uh, by the way, NPCs in this game get pissed when the other people are talking to ask her when your followers talk to them. They want to talk to meet you. So the rat is referring to Jake running off with a white-haired woman, who is Candace. Uh, someone we haven't met yet, actually. So it's a, it's a key. It's a clue. I see you've already looted everything here. Naturally. Do you expect anything less from me? Maybe. I want to talk to this rat, though. Why don't you kill the rats for experience? Because I think you want to talk to them first. Oh. Uh. So this rat's talking about a secret room. Oops, I don't want to do that. So uh, we got to find a secret button. The rat wasn't tall enough to reach the button. And yeah, it's right there, actually. Ah, so that's what that did. Oh, you did it. You found... I, I never could have found that by myself. I know. And we're in a secret storage. And, uh, did you loot this oh one? No, you didn't. God! No, I didn't, because it triggered stuff. If girls from the Source Academy could see how edgy and dangerous you've become. Uh, I, I forget who the, who the hell that is, though, who talks to you whenever you steal stuff. I think it's like your conscience or something, or something else. I don't know what it is. Some I don't... Oh, man, a resurrection scroll. It, like, it just called me edgy. Well, you are edgy. I know, but that's besides the point. Zombie painting. Dude, a zombie painting? I'm not picking that up. Why? You piece of shit, you picked it up. Yeah. Do you even know what you've done? What have I done? I don't know, nothing. Only the popular girls from the Source Academy could see how edgy and dangerous A painting of a pig, a bloody dagger. A bloody dagger? Could this have been involved in the crime? We found a bloody it dagger. Piques one's interest, Did you cover it? it? Maybe. Alright, is that everything from this room? I mean, why do you need a secret room here? Cause it's the secret for the spooky plot of murder. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, why would you have one in your house? The question. Alright, I guess I'll go confront her about her bloody dagger. Hey, you have a picture of a cock. Uh, oh, you're a cock? That's a good picture of a cock. Yeah, I went just for you. Oh, well, thank you. This, the, this zombie painting is, like, worth one gold, apparently. Yep. Okay, you can have that. I'm gonna leave. Just give me the zombie painting? Yes. Alright, now to go confront her about that. So let's go see how uh, this guy's doing. Who the devil are you? Tell your master the prefer to talk to them directly. Alright. I'll link him back up to me, which is a mechanic that I never really. I kind of failed to explain in this game. And we'll talk to uh, Esmeralda. I'm like, why do you have a bloody dagger down there? The hunter returns! I hope you are here to shop rather than sleuth. Uh. So, what piece of irrefutable evidence are you about to present me with this time? Explain the bloody knife. Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger? It's simply a butcher knife used by my late husband to cut meat. He did so love to cook the deer. What 
all you think of next? Accusing me of bashing him over the head with a frying pan? All right, Jake, we'll leave. All right, well, that was another dead end. Naturally, you know, there's a lot of items in here you didn't steal yet. Well, I... in where? In the main shop? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a ton of swords and stuff. As I casually say for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you're doing now? Alright, I, I, I just saved it. You do that for no reason, right? Oh, we can we can integrate, we can have something with the well. We can bottled beer, bottled wine, and you gave me a knife. There's something we can do, actually. So when we select this guy, so one of the things we can combine is we get one of the, the like, the knife here. The paper, what's this, paper knife? Okay, I guess that works anyways. We combine that with the potato we found. Unless I ate that. Yeah, there we go. And we, we make we make fr cold fries. Oh, the cold. That's not good. And I think you make like cheese fries too. Yeah. By the way, like the the crafting system in this is pretty complicated. Okay, no, you can't make cheese fries. But one thing is you can make though is where's water? I right, a cup of water with flour, I think. We make dough, and then with dough, we make, uh, we do that, we combine that with, I think it's cheese. And you make cheesy bread. Cheese, cheese bread dough. And then we have to cook that somewhere. Which we'll, we'll do a little bit later. But like, yeah, there's, there's every, com every manner of combination of things. So we're gonna head back to where the scene of the murder was, just because we kind of got teleported out when we reacted to the Star Stone. Uh, so we actually haven't finished it technically. <sighs> and here's here's Cand. Hello. You know you know Medora isn't with you. You you kind of ditched her. I take the paintings though. Uh, <laughs> I can just lie down on the murder bed. And, uh, come come to bed. I think uh, I think Medora's still in the Oka Man still. Is she? Oh yeah, that's right. It does that every time we reload, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. You know. You know. Fucking you know, blaming me. Hey, one second. Just pass her the pass her your fucking your teleport st stone and then bring her over. You're right. The chest key. How'd you get the chest key? Where the fuck did you find that? I don't remember. In chest key. Okay. You apparently found a letter from the Duke of Feral. It's a. Uh, it's a love letter from the Duke of Feral, basically. Uh, I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head. This will all be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. Wow, that's suspicious as fuck. In the murder room. It's official. The Duke of Feral is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. And so we meet yet another adulterous Looking good. Hobby. No doubt she's guilty as sin. Another? I don't know which Sassil you've been turned through, buddy, but this one ain't exactly an adulterous hoppy nesting ground. Oh. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Get on that stool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's fucking great. Alright, yeah. so, do we want to talk to the Duke of Feral, I guess? Uh, I forgot where he is, though. So we have a question Will Feral? Here. Duke of Feral. Uh, yeah, the rest of this doesn't matter. We're, we're trying to do the counselor's wife stuff. Come now, Alistair. So, Meanwhile, I'm gonna go loot. I actually don't remember where the, the Duke of Feral is. I don't think I've... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna go talk to... Uh, actually, uh, I'll talk to the mayor and then I'll go back to Arhu. Cause we'll see, we'll see what the mayor has to say. What? Oh man, I got potatoes! Oh, it's you! Come closer then. Closer? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Sauce Hunter. Our city welcomes you. I can tell him I've met your pet, Maxine. Okay. Maxine? What in heaven's name are you? Oh, you mean the mongrel that's always skulking about the place. I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch, and it sat through every lesson looking at me as if I were an idiot. Man's best friend, my eye. Okay, so it's like the cat's a dog. I've always been more fond of cats myself. 
I've joined the Fabulous Five. Let's discuss the assignment they gave me. Oh, yes, the Fabulous Five. Aren't they simply fantastic? I'm sure they'll get the job done in no time, especially with your expert hand lent to their cause. That machine Ahu built is an abomination. It must be stopped at all costs. I bet the wizard himself could provide some advice regarding how to destroy it. He's the mad scientist who crafted it after all. All right, well, do you have any work for a trio of sailors? No, no. All my clothes are in fine condition, thanks. I've been going to the same tailor for years. Okay, I think this guy has nothing really interesting to tell me I'm going to leave. I, th I think the, the Fabulous Five guy can give them work, though. Probably not a very good job, because it's probably sketchy as fuck, but, you know. Yeah. But how fares work? your first quest, hero and hunter? Fabulously exciting, I'll bet. I met some sailors looking for a job. Perhaps they can join the fellowship. You found new recruits already? Efficient. Proactive. Oh, I like that. Send them to me and I'll sign them up. And of course, since they're your recruits, you'll get a share of every assignment they complete. Isn't that just fabulous? All right. Well, that's all we get from that. I guess we'll go talk to Arhu now. I forget where the Duke is, though. I don't know where the Duke is either, but I could go, uh... We could go check out the morticians. Uh, not, not yet. I'm gonna talk to Arhu first. I'm gonna see if he's gonna tell me about that yet. Yeah, okay, me and Ken, technically, we know the solution to this. All, all, we know who did it, we know what to do, and all that kind of crap. But, you know, I'm trying to make it, like, add some co coherent... Uh, co what's it called? Like, um... Trying to make it uh, so you guys understand what's going on, so... I'm actually going to talk to Selen Selena first, which is the, uh, she's the, I think the Imperial Guard kind of Source captain. Hunter. A sight for sore eyes, if ever there was one. She's going to give us some quests. I know you're probably knee-deep in that awful murder investigation, but truth be told, the Legion could use your help as well. We've been conducting a series of expeditions into undead territory, and I'm afraid I must admit they've met with very little success. Oh, let's discuss the undead. The undead. I pitied them at first. Many among them were once kind and innocent civilians of Sysiel after all. No longer do I feel that way, though. Too many of my soldiers have fallen. The dead must be put down without mercy, if we can. The bravest among my men and women tell me they are weaker in the West and stronger in the East. So I suggest you head westward if you want to flex your muscles and test the waters before blindly diving to your death. Okay, so it says um, that undead are stronger in the East and weaker in the West. So, judging how we're... What are you, why are you saying Space Marines? You said Imperial Guard, and I had to. Uh, okay. I had to express my delight. Okay. All right. I'd like to talk to some matters concerning Legion. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. Uh, how about the sailors, actually? It's very sweet of you that you are trying to get these men a job, but I'm afraid they're not Legion material. Uh. Sure, they can tie a knot and blow a whistle like the best of them, but even with a sword in their hands, they wouldn't stand a chance against the undead. And I don't want any more blood on my hands. Oh, let's discuss the expeditions. If ever we want to be victorious in Sysiel, we have to track down the root of the undead uprising. Under the Pact of Volunteers, three expeditions were launched to do just that. But so far, none of their participants have returned. Three landmarks were chosen for further investigation. The Lighthouse, the Burial Mounds, and the Old Church. Places fraught with danger all. All right, how about the lighthouse? There's a lighthouse to the west, up on the bluffs, overlooking the sea. No man has gone there in a decade, and yet a light shines from its pinnacle every night. The locals say it's haunted, and half a dozen legionnaires have gone to find out whether or not those are mere tall tales. I fear for their safety. All right, how about the burial mounds? There are ancient burial grounds to be found north of the city. As good a place as any to start looking for necromancers, wouldn't you say? A local archaeologist offered to tag along with the men. Here's hoping his knowledge on the subject may prove to be of use to them. And the old church. There's a church to the northeast of here built atop the very place where once stood a temple dedicated to the source. The Sicilians raised it and built a church for the seven instead, supposedly to symbolize the victory of the gods over evil sorcery. All superstitious mumbo jumbo, if you ask me. But when the dead rose, that is when they were first spotted. Hence the expedition. 
Uh, uh, well, I guess we can ask about the pact that they made with the Legionnaires. So I did. The Pact of Volunteers. Many Legionnaires will do whatever it takes to go home, which is why I personally sign their transfer orders the moment they make it back from a mission behind enemy lines. The chances of survival during these sorties are only about one in ten, you see. So my soldiers are free to volunteer, and if they are successful, they just bought themselves a boat ride home. All right, let's go. You know what? We can just go. We can go to the lighthouse, actually, Cam, because she gave us three missions to check those things out. I think it has nothing really to do with uh, Counselor Jake. Anyways, so we'll just go do it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm just gonna talk to Arhu quickly since I'm in the area, but I'm gonna just ask him about some stuff. But yeah, yeah. Let's let's get some combat in. I'm actually up for that. Source hunter, welcome. Welcome! Alright, let's uh, talk about... I found the second pair of teleporter pyramid in Lady Cecilio's room. Did Peggy for a peeping tomcat. What? I... I'd never... If you must know, I was merely checking up on Maxine, the mayor's cat. What a delight she is. The temperament of a tiger, the grace of a leopard, and the manners of a lady all rolled into one. Course, if ever there was one. Alright, it's creepy. Let's talk about source under business. By all means. Jake's murder. Of course. I uh, hope your investigation fares well. What happened in the day of the murder? I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the King Crab Inn sometime after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman because both of them were cloaked and it took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When finally he did, he found Jake there, dead. Sorry, I, I skipped that part. Um, just summarizing it for you, about an hour later another figure arrived headed for the same room as soon as, uh, soon after the terrible commotion. A thundering light of magic was witnessed by a few remaining uh, uh, patrons. I pressed one by accident. How and why he came to be there, no one knows. But I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. The traces of magic I felt were vile. Source, no doubt. Who are the suspects? I myself have none. Even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Now, it may well be established that she is, in fact, the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent, but let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so very easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters. All right, let's discuss Jake's corpse. It might be a bit late to inspect the body in that it has already been buried. It may be worth your while to speak to the mortician, though. A chap called Roberts. He has a house by the graveyard. Uh, is there more you can tell me about the strangers that seem to be in league with the orcs? Strangers leading orcs? Humans? But that would be like kittens leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts. A shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers. But people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't know quite what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It would be wise not to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. Alright, I'm gonna leave. So where are you, Kent? I'm by the multitions. Part by the uh, gate leads to where we want to go. Alright. So, just to show you where we are, uh, this is the inn right here uh, on the map. We're on the other side of it. Uh, you guys have never seen me go here. But I just kind of went to the other side of the inn, and we're gonna... We're actually going to take a... Because I, I just realized that we don't actually have to do the Jake's murder Someone right now. Leave an oven door open. So we're going to do that. And I'm, before we go, though, we have to do something super important, Kent. Oh. Super important. Really hot under the so collar. we combined oh. we combined these together. And now we can go cook cheese, cheese, cheese bread. Uh, combine that. There we go. We just made a mobile kitchen. Yeah. We could just, that's ours now? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can do anything we want with it. So I'm gonna make cheese bread. Beyond these walls, <laughs> free, yeah, you, can, you, you can have the Be cheese vigilant. bread. 
looks delicious. Okay, actually, can I cook the fish? I'm, I'm guessing I can. Yeah, 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 I can. I can make dinners. Oh yeah, dinner. Oh man. Fucking dinners. Have all my food. <laughs> we need tons of food, man. So this will this will heal us and do some shit like that. Holy shit! You're gonna give me roast, dude. The pork is already roasted. I don't need to do anything with that. <laughs> I have parents want to show off. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Wonder if I can make a poutine. But we're gonna also cook the fries. It's gonna make Rivalon fries. A recipe for a superior longbow. How do you make that? Oh, you want me to combine like your arrowheads and shit? Yeah, if you can. Okay. This guy isn't that good at. at this kind of shit, though. So, you get a poison cloud arrowhead with an arrow shaft, and that should make... Okay, I have no crafting build. I don't have enough crafting ability for that. I can only make, I can only make dinners, okay? Alright, let's go. I'm gonna give you... How do I, like, split this into five? Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll split that into... I'll give you some of the dinners. I'm gonna give this to myself. Alright, let's go. Hi uh, everybody, you may be wondering why we just transitioned. We actually recorded an hour of this and the video was kind of weird. As soon as this rain effect started, uh, my recording turned all janky, but I fixed it by kind of doing a thing where I synchronized the FPS with my recording. Which is something that I've never really had to do. I would have not known that uh, had it not happened, so let's do some fights now, finally. Technically we've done a lot more of them. Get your ass in there. All right. What I start? What? What? What the fuck do I ever start? I think uh, you're a bunch of initiative things. Oh, I'm not wearing. I'm wearing the the bartering boots. Oh, maybe you should not have those. Yeah, no, it's fine. We bought a couple of things in town. Shit. There we go. Man, I've never like oh, never done this engagement before. Yeah, we, we've technically done an hour of this, and we went to all the way to the lighthouse, which is what I think I was talking about doing, and we, we killed the guy that was there. Uh, but this isn't this isn't really a blind run anyways, but I will say that uh, the difficulty that we're playing on Tactician does add some really neat surprises that we were more than happy to have, and, and Ken has a tendency of throwing grenades into us, so what a fucking guy. Hey man, I won the fight. If you're a man, you'll save that. You'll save that footage as glitchy as it is, and just show the fight. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna skip this guy's turn because he'll just have a shit ton of AP points because they're gonna walk up to us. You, you might want to do the same, actually. Yeah, Medora. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I should. I should have blown up that water barrel because I can make a lot of shocking ground there. Which, uh, I, oh yeah, I, I guess I've never really... I, I kind of introduced the combat when in our other recording, but uh, I guess I'll do it here as well. Because uh, I, I didn't really talk about it much. I just I guess I just went on faith kind of thing. So, these are my AP points right here. So I got like uh, eight. So that's the current amount I have. The maximum I have is, is like, uh, I can have five more than that. And your speed determines how many AP points you have. And random things that I use have AP point cost, so Thunder Jump, for example, will have an AP co point cost of uh, 5, so I'm going to just use that to get really close to these guys. Shocking power. So they're both stunned now. And so, like, now I can finish it off with, like, Burning Touch or something. And that uses up pretty much all my uh, AP points because I, I don't have enough to. Using both my wands costs four AP points because dual wielding is a a bit of a costly thing since you're firing two weapons. Which brings us to my turn. And one of the great things about him running around stunning everything is that when things are stunned, like I have a much higher chance. Like I can hit them really nicely. That, which is something I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Yeah, I see um, the shit out of everything. Yeah, let's just, just put the damage out. Uh, let's see. Did those, did those guys not come this time? 
No, they're gonna come. The time of your death is at hand. They, the, they told maybe? me they'd come. What the hell is that thing on the ground here? Antique air wand. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, I need that. It's like way better than what I have. All right, huh. right, let's go talk to each An other. An invigorating fight that was, and what a killing blow you delivered. Then we can we can talk to each other after. Cheers. Yes, I handled myself like the best of the best. Even if I do say so myself. Oh, there. I wouldn't go that far. Especially not standing in the blast radius of your soon-to-burst vanity bubble. <laughs> wow, dude. Rude. <laughs> Eat shit. So, so uh... The thing we were expecting, actually, was the... We'd done this fight before on an easy difficulty, like, uh, stream a while back. And, like, the fight was normal. just... You saw it, but... We went... We did the fight... Before we lost the footage, well, the footage was weird. Yeah. And there was actually reinforcements that came. But I guess because we finished the fight early, it uh, they didn't spawn. I, I I don't even know if that was the case. Uh, I think I think it was just a random event, basically. Uh, so I I actually don't know how much more I have for timing because this that battle was really quick. So, well, we got another fight we can do up here maybe. I don't know. I think we should do that next time. So that's all the time we got for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.